Blanner from the Lifestyle website, JulieBlanner.com, where I share easy ideas for entertaining, home decor, and recipes. Today, as promised, I'm sharing my tips, tricks, and secrets to getting the look for less. Yes, you can shop for everything you absolutely love and find it at a significantly less price using these simple ideas. I actually utilize them a lot in both of our homes, but primarily down here at the Lake Cottage because as the old saying goes, I have champagne taste on a beer budget. Let's get started, shall we? Now, one of my first tips for getting the look for less is shopping similar styles, kind of figuring out what brands knock off other brands. And I have found, I really love Serena and Lily, but their prices are not all that reasonable. And sometimes I will incorporate their pieces into our home, but they're definitely a little more of a splurge. So I tend to mix high and low, utilizing like brands. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. I believe this pillow is about $88 to $100 at Serena and Lily, but it's $24.99 plus 20% off at Target. I'll link to them in the description below as everything else, but it has all the same look. It gives you exactly what I was looking for, but at a less significant price. It has the tassels, it's indoor-outdoor, a nice texture to it, and the same color. So, I mean, I just love getting the look for less when at all possible. And these fit just perfect into here. So like I said, they're indoor outdoor, so they're really nice. If you, I like those versatile pieces. You take them outside and hose them down and whatnot if you need to. Another look for less item here in the living room is this tray. I actually found that World Market carries a lot of Serena and Lily lookalikes for significantly less. I love that cane texture. Of course, the color, the rattan, the shape. It's just a beautiful tray. And that was $188 from Serena and Lily and only, I believe, $25 from World Market. Unfortunately, they don't carry it this year. But you can look to World Market and Target for finding a lot of similar items at a less significant price. Now, of course, you know how much I love my blue chairs already. And those, again, were over $2,000 at Serena and Lily. And I found that the brand Safavia often has very similar pieces at a much less expensive price point. And these chairs were just over $300. So those are three examples of how you can get the look for less by just turning to another store. So once you kind of get familiar with those brands that carry items that you like, you can continue to search for them looking there. At Target, the brand is Opal House, and they have everything from the same, you know, really similar tasseled napkins, plant stands, chairs. I mean, the list goes on and on. They have so many similar pieces, even my tassel shower curtains. Now, another way you can get the look for less is by using a similar search term. So I found these teak stools I absolutely loved. And I saw that they were being called luggage racks. So then I started doing a search for folding luggage racks. And eventually I came across these white stools for $17. And well, that's a whole heck of a lot less than 200. So anytime I find a search term, I will go to google.com and click on shopping or the old school way frugal, F-R-O-O-G-L-E.com and do a price comparison and you'll see pictures of all the different items that come up for that name and you'll see the price point. So that's another really great way to shop the look for less. Another way that I love shopping the look for less is by looking for similar antique pieces or vintage pieces. Like this beautiful blue chest, it is definitely pricey. I don't regret it. I absolutely love this piece with the soft closed drawers 
and it has outlets in it. And it is the centerpiece of the girls' bunk bedroom. However, it is a little on the pricey side. You can actually find similar by searching for things like three drawer chest, chest of drawers, small buffet, those three things will garner you a lot of similar pieces and then of course you can bake them. You can get my tips for setting up an alert on Craigslist if you're looking for a specific item in the description below. I'll link to that blog post. I think it is just one of the most helpful tips to really help you hunt down a piece without having to spend endless hours searching for it. Anytime um, something comes available in that search term, you'll receive an email. So it saves countless hours. But you can find similar chest of drawers by looking that way. In fact, I had two similar chest of drawers that were both vintage that I have now sold. I purchased on Craigslist and I sold on Craigslist. So Craigslist is a really great resource. Of course, you can also look at your local antique stores and things like that as well. Another way is by shopping at sister stores. Now, what are sister stores? Well, if you find something at Pottery Barn, chances are it will be less at Pottery Barn Teen or Pottery Barn Kids. Same with Restoration Hardware. You might be able to find it at Restoration Hardware Teen, RH Teen, or RH Baby and Child. A great example of this is this chandelier lamp that I just had to have about eight or 10 years ago. I absolutely loved it, but I didn't have $2,000 for it. So what did I do? I turned to RH Baby and Child and purchased it for, I believe, $400, maybe even just a little bit less than that. But I mean, you could hardly tell the difference. The difference was one was six inches less tall than the other. It fit perfect in our living room and we enjoyed it for several years. In fact, I can't let go of it, although I don't have a space for it at this time. It is one of those items that I've allowed to consume some space in storage in our basement. So look to those sister stores to find the look for less. Another great way you can get the look for less is create it. There are a lot of ways you can do this. You can make slip covers for bar stools, for example. Our bar stools in our kitchen are actually Ikea. And my friend Lisa at Farmhouse on Boone was so kind to create those for me. She has a tutorial on her website so you can create your own. But it really gave me a beautiful high-end bar stool look that was so comfy and cozy, exactly what I was looking for, for significantly less than I could find it elsewhere. I think I ended up spending probably a total of like 80 or 90 per stool by the time I painted it, had the slip covers and the stools themselves. Another idea of like getting the look for less and making it are my pressed botanical art. I found these beautiful, beautiful artwork of pressed botanicals and I want to say they were like $800 a piece. I can't quite recall. It's been like four or so years now. And I remembered as a kid, I would press my own with my grandma. We'd either place them in a book or place them between two pieces of parchment paper and we would iron them. So I thought, why don't I just do that? So I created a look for less and added a piece of lavender botanical art to our guest bath in our home. And I absolutely love it. It looks so beautiful. And I mean, it was really incredibly inexpensive to make a piece of art paper piece of lavender that I already had. I just took off of a plant and a frame that I repurposed. So that was another great way to get the look for less. And finally, my other favorite, I have so many great art ideas that you can create in your own and I'll link to those in the description below. I think I'm up to like 25 different ideas that I've shared through the years. So I found a piece of textured art that I fell head over heels in love with. The problem, it was $1,000. The solution? Chris. I begged, pleaded, and borrowed for him to recreate it for me. And we actually did it together. It was a lot of fun. We just purchased a canvas, some texture material, a high gloss paint, and a really inexpensive frame that was custom sized. And it fits perfectly over our bed. And it's really special as well because it's something he created for me, even if it involved a little banking, and just really makes the space feel very personal as well. 
I'm so happy with how it turned out and glad that we did it on our own instead of spending that extra money. Now, another way that you can get the look for less is by shopping on Etsy. I often look to Etsy for things that I want to have made. A couple of good examples of this is the artwork in the girl's bunk bedroom. I wanted a large, significant piece of art, which of course is often very expensive. I also thought it'd be really special to have something that was a little more personal. I had someone who specialized in doing maps for weddings in watercolor, digital watercolor, create a really cool segment of our lake and it is the centerpiece and the focal point of their bedroom just above that blue chest that I mentioned earlier. Another thing that I've had made on Etsy time and time again are pillow covers. I actually found somebody I work really well with. They hunt down the fabric that I'm looking for and create the look for less. These paisley, I think they were so inexpensive and I'll link to them in the description below. But block print pillows are one of my very favorite things if you haven't noticed and I've been able to create those a lot less expensive via sellers on Etsy. As I mentioned earlier, I not only shop the look for less looking for similar brands, but of course finding the look for less on sale. A lot of stores carry the same items. For example, this French seam headboard. I did a Google search using Google shopping tool, which is just one tab over from your basic search and found this headboard almost $200 off. It was such a steal, I couldn't pass it up. So you can use that to kind of look when you have an item that you already know you wanna purchase and find it for the least expensive price at any store that carries it. Likewise, if only one store carries it, I highly recommend signing up for their emails. Not only will you probably get a nice discount code for your first purchase, but you'll also know when it goes on sale. I do that for so many things like this Rattan pendant. I wanted it when it's $500. I bought it when it was $150. Big difference, right? So you can kind of get the look for less that way too by signing up for emails to be alerted when they have their sales and even better, their sales on top of sales. I love those extra 20% off days. Another great tip is to look at craft stores. Craft stores have become really great at knocking off high-end items at a very affordable price. One of my favorite recent purchases is this little ivory vase that was just $4.99 before my 40% off coupon. So I highly recommend looking at craft stores. Another vase that I had purchased at a craft store originally was a knockoff of like an $80 vase and it had some rope around it. So I looked at it and I found that it was really insecure, was able just to cut the rope off. Um, it's kind of like a netting and voila, I think I spent $8 instead of 80. So look to craft stores for a lot of home decor items now. Of course, home discount stores are also really great. Lately, I've been seeing so many beautiful items. I found a cane bench I absolutely fell in love with, but you know my philosophy, if I don't need it, I don't buy it. But gosh, I just knew that there was somewhere I had to find for this bench to go. And then I reminded myself, less is more. But anyways, it's always hard when you're bargain shopping to really keep your eye on the prize. You don't want anything that you don't need or you'll just be decluttering later. And I do like to take that less is more approach. So I highly encourage you to only shop for things you need. I actually don't go in discount stores that often for that reason. A, I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of shopping around, but B, when I do, I end up finding things that I don't really need. I love, but I don't need. So it's really hard finding that restraint. But um, discount stores like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, they have a lot of really cool items that for home decor at a significantly less price, You'll find things like Turkish towels. When I refresh my hand towels, I always purchase them there. So definitely look to your discount home stores for items like that and even beautiful furniture pieces. Of course, I also like to shop at hardware stores. They're actually kind of a fun surprise. I know when you think of a hardware store, you really think of, you know, actual hardware or lawn and garden, but there's so much more there. Even if you don't find it in store, they're really great to shop online. In fact, that's where I originally purchased those blue chairs from. And little gold coffee table. 
They can really offer a wide array of items at a really great price. And often you can get like a 5% off moving coupon if you've recently moved. You just go to usps.com and do your change of address there and click that you would like the moving coupon or find coupons in the paper, et cetera, to save even more. We were able to knock out the girls' bathroom renovation completely at Lowe's. They had everything we needed at a really affordable price. So I wanna say it was like less than $8,000 and we went with some really high-end finishes and even an air bathtub. So it really is great for that. And as well, our brick floors were really inexpensive and we did those through Lowe's as well. This headboard, I love this little raw edge detail, which is actually called a French seam. So I always look to see what kind of details I can come up with. It says clean, lined, and simple, tailored with a slip covered skirt. Sometimes you can get some good details here. So like slip covered would be a great keyword to search for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my bar and I'm going to like search for white slip covered headboard. And there, I'm going to find lots of options. And right here, I kind of see that same seam that I'm looking for. So I'll click on that one and see what I can find out about it. So this is a Matalise. I don't really care for the texture here, but I could go over there to see, you know, what they're calling this little seam right there. But I actually see another one that has exactly what I'm looking for. So that's how I learned that it's a French seam. And Target has it for $418 for our king. That's quite a vast difference. Now, of course, this one doesn't come with a slip covered skirt like the other one did, but we can achieve that look by purchasing a separate slip covered skirt or a separate skirt. Um, and this is for the lake house, so I want to keep things in check. Now what I can do is I can just copy and paste this term right here. Sometimes if it's a brand that is sold on different sites, you can also search that and see who has that for less. And um, this one in particular is Simply Shabby Chic. I know that that's only a Target brand. So I'm gonna paste that and I'll come up with all the different options here. Of course, there's our original, the $2,000 version, and here we're finding some for 127. You'll see it's all over, but here I can look, okay, Skyline makes one. So I can see if they make one in white to really get down to it and see exactly what I need. Of course, I'm gonna select King and that will limit the search and give the price so that we are really comparing apples to apples as far as price goes and seeing what all the options are. And gosh, like that one's so fun. I don't want pattern for down here, but that's truly a really pretty option. So that's how I look to see if I can find something less. I love the Google shopping tool. These are paid searches, so it's not comprehensive. These are all, as you'll see here, sponsored. So you always wanna also go over here and look under all to really see, you know, like Macy's wasn't represented there. They were not paying for advertising. Now, they don't have the best price anyways. Crazy enough, this one is $400 in King on another site, I just saw it, um, which is why I kind of do this research. Wayfair tends to give really broad searches, so they end up giving you far more stuff than you want, so it's not really my go-to for shopping as far as nailing down where I want it at that price. I might, once I find the item, go check at Wayfair, but you can see here, they're pulling up other things that I did not ask for, and they're notorious for doing that. So once I find, like if I know that it's the Skyline brand I want, then I can look that up there and see if it's cheaper. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this look into how I shop. If this is your first time visiting, please don't forget to click subscribe, ring the little bell so you receive a notification anytime I have a new video on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And don't forget to leave me a comment below. I'd love to know, how do you get the look for less? Did I miss any tips? Any questions? 
please let me know and I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you again soon.